Well, we're just kind of getting to know each other a little bit. Uh, for most of us know each other. I'm Scott Cranin, and this is my 19th year here in San Jose Unified. And it's just so much fun to get to do all of this with all of you. Uh, especially fun when we came back two years ago when we all lost these big events with our with our seclusion in the pandemic and not being able to be together. And it's just been ever since then, our audiences have been so excited and so hungry to see their students do well and to support them. So it's just so nice to be together again. And even though it's not Carnegie Hall, this is our home and we appreciate you being a wonderful audience and our students doing a brilliant job for you tonight. What you heard around you was our chamber orchestra, and we have a quartet project. So here at Castellero, we have six different orchestra classes and chambers for our oldest kids. So while you were sitting and enjoying conversation with one another, in the background, we had different quartets performing. They were playing Mozart's Ina Kleine, Haydn, Op. 76, number one and two, Mozart, Kershaw, 157, out in the, in, in the far side by the flagpole. These students are essentially self-rehearsed while I walk around and coach them, and it's an incredible amount of work that they did. So can we have a quick round of applause for all of our team members? And then what you see on stage is the name of the show. So it's past, present, and future. And this is our way of kind of inviting lots of different levels and different experiences. So on the stage, we have our beginning orchestra from Simon's, the future. Round of applause for Simon's beginning orchestra. Joining the Simon's Beginning Orchestra is the Castellero Ionian Orchestra, and they're actually also beginners, so the students they're sitting next to also started this year. But the big difference, of course, besides their age, middle school and elementary school, is that here at Castellero you get music every day. So the students in the black shirts, they've had orchestra every day uh, since the first day of school for about an hour a day, and so we've got 110 lessons, so they accelerate really quickly on their instruments. The students at Simons have had about 44, 45 after-school lessons, and so it's really wonderful to see what the Simon students have accomplished and what the Ionian Orchestra, which is essentially the Vienna Orchestra, is now showing from a leadership perspective. So you'll see they're all paired up, and they now have a Castellaro buddy, because we know a lot of folks think about middle school as this really big change, because obviously it is. But it's actually a really wonderful and nice place. It's an ecosystem here at Castellaro that supports each other. And when you see the students working together, hopefully when they come home, they can say, oh, my STEM partner's name was, and we talked about this, and they helped me with this. Because the kids at Castellaro are very kind and very caring, and that's part of why the arts are so successful here in this building. So that's our Ionian and beginning orchestras here at Castellaro and Simons. Uh, and we didn't clap for them. Let's clap for our wonderful Ionian orchestra. Here's about 135, 140 string players, and you saw us rehearsing. They're getting used to some things with conductors, and we'll talk about that momentarily. Here on the far left, we have our experienced orchestra. So at Simon's, we have two levels of orchestra, which is really special and really exciting. So the students that are over there in the white shirts, they have more than one year of experience. Some of them have played since they were actually quite little, six or seven years old, and some of them started last year, just like these students started last this year. So we have our experienced orchestra, and they're sitting with our chamber orchestra. So the chamber orchestra is all of our oldest and most uh, experienced musicians here at Castellero. And so we have about 35 Simon students and about 35 chamber kids to make this really wonderful orchestra over there. A round of applause for the experienced and chamber orchestra. And with those introductions, I just wanted to know what you what you were looking at after the winter concert. There were some there were some parents that came up and asked, does Simons have multiple levels of orchestra? Because when they heard that orchestra, they assumed that all of those students were sixth grade or older. But if you looked up close, some of them are still in the four foot category and definitely on the Simons campus. Um, they're just very, very accomplished young musicians. If you're a Castellero parent, you heard the first three selections at our December concert. Again, the Castellero students can go more quickly through the repertoire because we meet every day for an hour. 
and then the Spanish students just work very, very hard to maintain that curriculum as they go from beginning into experience. So the first three selections, the Castellaro parents have heard, but the Cypress parents have not heard of like Waterfall, which features slurs, French folk song, which features three note slurs, and then we're going to finish with Baba Black Sheep. I'm going to head back to the piano because for these three pieces, we're still transitioning to having a conductor. So first up will be Waterfall, which has two note slurs. This is a very, very challenging skill for string players because their arms have to move at different times in different directions. When we started the year at Simons, they started, of course, with pizzicato, just pulling the bow. And then they worked towards moving the bow back and forth, one note per bow. Now in Waterfall, we're doing two note slurs. You'll see them lift their bows together and move their bows in sequence. Here is Waterfall. So there's some physics involved, there's some math involved, and they're also uh, decoding the musical notation on the page. There's a lot of different cross-curricular things happening in their brain, really important developmental things for all, the, all that's happening in the frontal lobe at these ages. And so we're going to play French folk song, which has three note slurs as well as the entire D major scale.
making my way over to the experienced orchestra, we're going to play two selections for you. What you're going to notice about this particular orchestra is that what you just heard was called unison playing. Hey, what was it called? Yeah, hey, you did that almost in unison. Good. So unison playing is when everyone has the same part at the same time. Same notes, same rhythms, everything. Then we move over to the experienced orchestra, and now we have distinctly four different parts. A violin part, a viola part, a cello part, and a bass part. And so there's more independence when it comes to maintaining the tempo inside of our bodies, which is a really big feat, especially when they're excited for a concert or if they're tired because they were just at science camp. Their bodies impact uh, the tempos that they choose, so now they have to deal with me as the conductor. We're going to play two pieces for you. The first one is called Creatures, and this sounds like a soundtrack for a B movie. You can think of Creature from the Lagoon coming out of the swamp, uh, and you're going to hear some noises that are quite striking. They're on purpose. journey across, going to distant lands, sometimes looking at the beautiful scenery and sometimes moving about with quite a lot of ferocity. This is Viking.
going to be a quick little stage change. They're going to do it very quietly. Chamber's going to move to the front, and while they're quietly moving, we're going to go back over here, and our beginners from Simons and our Ionian Orchestra, this is going to be new now for our Castellero parents as well, we have to transition into multi-part playing. So like we started with, we did unison playing. Now we're about to do two-part harmony. It's a piece called Irish Jig. There's a melody and a harmony. Now for this particular concert, all of the Simon students will be playing the melody. But the Castellero students who have Castellero stand partners will be playing the harmony. So you're going to start to hear a thicker and denser sound and more independence of rhythms. So this is a first step towards multi-part playing. And always a really exciting endeavor because the kids can hear it in the classroom. They heard hot cross buns all together, waterfall all together, but then they start to hear the richness of what music can be. Here is Irish Jig. Instruments up. One, two, three, you're ready, set, hook. that you just see, saw was going to lead all the way to the beginner and Ionian spinal piece, but before we do, we're going to go down here just to the chamber orchestra who have moved to the front of their ensemble, and they're going to play a piece for you, just one piece called Vanishing Point. And what you'll hear from this ensemble, this orchestra, is students that have worked very hard to achieve these skills. Um, once you can read any language, you're not sounding out syllables anymore, but you just recognize that word in any context. So the cat in the hat initially was challenging, but you can recognize the word hat, you can recognize the word cat in any context, and you know what it means. Once the students have the musical language of notation, and they have the technical need, uh, experience to be able to maneuver around the instrument successfully, we can learn music at a very high level very quickly. So the piece you're about to hear is really only, is only two days of rehearsal. And I don't say that as an apology, but as something to be excited about, because they have now transferred form from our beginning stages all the way to our top artistic musician level stages. And because they go home and they practice and they understand how to practice, they come into class prepared. So this piece is called Vanishing Point. You're going to hear extreme dynamics, a lot of technical prowess, and it's a really wonderful piece to listen to that sort of tells its own story, uh, and you'll hear the music disappearing into a vanishing point.
chamber orchestra, we have several folks that, of course, were in our Simon's Orchestra, and here they are just a few years later at Castellero playing music of that caliber and quality. We also have some students in the orchestra that were beginners last year. One of the great things about Castellero is that whatever level you are, we meet the schedule that's the best for your child. We have an incredible admin team here. Some of them may be here tonight, but I'd like to just give a, a special recognition to all the hard work that they do to give access to students to schedules that push them and support them in the best way. So for all of our Castellaro admin, Crystal Campbell, uh, we have uh, Joe Jones and, and Kari Hansen. Can we give a round of applause for our team? Wonderful admin. Dynamic. They're finding ways to make sure to push students not just through the literature. If they become musicians for you know for their careers, that's wonderful. But really, what we're learning to do is to listen, to communicate, to learn how to break down problems, to find ways to be resilient when things are challenging. Uh, we're helping them just to grow up and become members of a community. And I feel that our staff has a really good grasp of that idea because we want the contributors at a high level that understand how to support the people around them. So that's the Castellaro way, and that's what we have here at Castellaro. Our middle school, and I'm just so proud of the entire organization from all of our wonderful teachers, several who are here tonight helping out just because they're, they're to manage with all the wonderful parents, uh, to our wonderful parent volunteer team. Uh, if you want to stay connected to your school, Castellaro is a great place for your family because. There's so many things like this that bring you in, that connect you. You see how your child's doing. You see all the friends that they're hanging out with. You can feel the pulse of the school very, uh, very vividly every time you walk onto campus. So thank you to all of them. And we're going to transition to the first time that we're all playing multiple parts and I'm conducting. So the Russian Music Box now has individual parts, just like we experienced for the experienced orchestra. We're going to have a violin part, a viola part, a cello part, and a bass part. And no longer me on the piano. I'll be conducting, which is a new way of communicating what needs to happen on stage. So when we finish, we will stand up. And if you've been holding any enthusiasm, this will be the time to let it out. To celebrate these really wonderful kids who work so hard to try and meet the expectations put in front of them. This is Russian Music Box.
the future. This is who takes over these programs at Castellero, and the future is bright. The experienced students are majority fifth graders, and so many of them are coming to Castellero. We're so excited to have them join our Indigo Orchestra. That's our second year orchestra at Castellero. But as you recall, they're going to have 180 lessons in their beginning year, and experience and beginning classes combined will have about 150 lessons after their two years at Simons. So it works out perfectly for them to join us next year in the Indigo Orchestra. And to see what that's going to sound like, we're going to have two final pieces. The first one's called Pirate's Code, and then Stone Mountain Stunt. So we're going to start with Pirate's Code, which is quite an adventurous tune, and teaches our experienced workers more about their E string, as well as playing off the beat. This is Pirate's Code. Concert dates, we don't know when science camp is going to be. And 
And then once we find out when, when science camp is, we can't change the concert because on the seasonal calendar year, I have 57 different concerts personally. And so once my life is set, it's set. So I appreciate the science community being flexible and the students are probably sleeping very, very well for the last four days, I assume. I assume being very, very well. Uh, and coming back here with so much energy and excitement to perform for you tonight. So can we have a round of applause specifically for our fifth graders? they'll sleep well tonight. This is our final selection for the experienced orchestra. And same thing, if you've been holding that enthusiasm in, they'll stand up at the end and you give a rousing round of applause. <laughs> 